It is Filipino American History Month, and there's no better way to learn about the culture than through authentic cuisine. Yeah, here in our Studio 41 kitchen to share a pen sit recipe is chef and owner of A Taste of the Philippines, Kathy Vega Hardy. Chef, thanks for coming back. Hey, thanks for all having me. Oh, we're so excited it's to have a you. Pleasure. Yeah, so. so so let's talk about Filipino American Heritage Month and food, how important that is to your culture. Oh, it's definitely important just because that's how we kind of share our um, culture to the masses. Yeah. And that's actually the premise of my business because I wanted to share our culture to the masses. So. Yeah. And so one of your favorite recipes is pancit. Pancet, yeah. So it's very... Uh, it's oh, our, is it pancet? Pancet, yeah. Okay. Pancet. So it's like, it's very versatile. You can make it vegetarian, gluten-free, but today, no gluten-free. Okay. okay. Um, but yeah, so it's, I, I like to use two different types of noodles. Okay. okay. So I'm, we're, I, the majority of it is the bihuan, mm -hmm. is, which is the rice noodles. Yep. Okay. And also the canton, it's like uh, egg noodles. Okay. Okay. So, but yeah, so in here, we have two cups of my homemade uh, chicken stock. Okay, homemade so we, uh, chicken stock. Yeah, yes. so the process is very long. Yes, but, um, I can imagine. Yeah, so we have um, the two cups of chicken stock. It has soy sauce and fish sauce as well. Okay. okay. An alternative, if you don't want to make your own chicken stock, you can use chicken bouillon as well. Okay. okay. So um, my mom used to make this with. Uh, cabbage and carrots and string beans, but I like to use bok choy. Oh, I love okay. bok choy. So we have been. So you got a little oil, oil and some going, garlic. Some garlic here. Okay. I love that sizzle. Yeah, I know, mm -hmm. me too. And then, so is the key here just to make sure you get it uh, a little warm, or are you a actually? A little warm, like kind of hot a little bit. Just but not kind super of get soft, it. right? Not super soft, okay. yeah. Okay. And that's why I like to use the bok choy over the um, cabbage. The cabbage mm -hmm. itself. It's Oops. so healthy. It yeah. is. It is. And these noodles are so good. I was saying, I bet you my kids would eat, eat this. I think so too. Yeah. But, and then you can always do. Um, I brought eggs today for protein. Okay. Oh. We're gonna turn this down because this is like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then we're gonna add. Um, so the noodles aren't necessarily already soft like that. No, you? I actually pre-soaked it because oh, it okay. takes about like 15, 20 minutes to, to do soak it. Oh, okay. 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 So we'll let that do. We'll let that soak a little bit there. All right, so this is one of many recipes that's in a new cookbook that'll be coming out later it this is. month. It is. We um, Cook Filipino. We Cook Filipino. Thank you, Jackie. She is actually based out of London. I don't know how she found me, but I got that email pre-pandemic, and I'm like, you sure you want me to be in it? I love oh, it. This is awesome. I'm like, I'm still pinching myself, you know? So we actually just, all the contributors, all the chefs, um, we got our books like, um, about a month ago. Amazing. So tell us a little one. bit about the book. You're not the only chef in here. No, there's, uh, th I think, 31, 32 of us. It's all over the world. Michelin so star chefs, cool. TV personality people, <laughs> and just like, just, you know, home cooks. And I, I'm in great company. Like, I, I'm, I cannot believe I, I'm in the book. That's you know? so cool. It's been like, it, um, that actually started pre-pandemic, like oh, the whole yeah. thing. and. Pandemic happened, yep. title company, all that stuff. So, but here we are. Here it's you go. Yeah, it's okay. So, um, I'm actually gonna be having a book release party on Ooh. the 27th mm -hmm. at the schoolhouse. So, um, and I'm gonna actually be starting to teach there too. So, oh, stay tuned exactly. for that. I know. It's been awesome. I was just telling you guys this morning how. You know, ever since I left um, doing the everyday grind, yeah, I'm having so much more time. I feel like I gained 10 years of my life. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Home with my girls, with Oakley. She's like 13 months now. Oh, so it's that's you so know sweet. it's been so amazing. So, oh, uh, so um, let's get back to the rest. Okay, back there. Okay. I actually like to add a little bit of this, just so for looks wise too. I prefer the glass noodles. Um, over this because I think it just doesn't soak up more of like the the oil to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were saying that it, you know it's kind of compared to uh, like a lo mein, lo mein, yeah. but it's less greasy. Less greasy, so you you can see like it's not that right. Okay. Right. Stuff, stuff. So yeah, once so. you uh, you let this soak for how long? Um, for? about I would say until it like the noodle soaks all that. That that juice juice yeah. Okay. yeah, and it's okay that the other noodles are still a little crispy. Yes, because it oh, that's right here. Pretty yeah, it's like soon. you don't have any broth left. It literally no, it literally soaks all this stuff. Hopefully, wow. we'll 
We'll get it finished by yeah. the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so where does the egg and all the rest of this come this, in? I, it's just kind of like a topping, and then okay. we also have like garlic chips for later, too. Oh, perfect. Oh, garlic so. chips. Oh, puppies. Yeah, they're coming up after so you. Cool. Everybody loves the puppies. Everybody I know, the I puppies. saw them out in the hallway early, and I'm like, I hope I get to pet it. So. All right, so then and then, so now we'll turn this off. This looks so good. Mm. Oh, healthy. Yeah. That's what I'm like. Healthy with flavor. somebody to make me healthy food that tastes good every day. There you go. Oh, I need healthy I'll all the time. I'll show you a DM with the... Okay. I think I have the recipe somewhere, too, so... Oh, yeah, I think yeah, we're able to get it on our website. Yeah, yeah, on the website. Fantastic. And oh, then, that looks so good. And my daughters actually love this. Yeah. Oh, and you didn't have a hard, yeah, you didn't have a hard time getting them to no, eat the vegetables, huh? Not at all. Well, I just chop it up and just say, hey, it's hey. spinach. Right. Oh. She likes it. She likes all right. spinach. So, yeah. Be I'm sorry, sorry I think I'm done touching everything. Okay. We'll try this one. Oh, did What's, you put pepper in it? Pepper, yep. A little bit of pepper. I and can you cut the egg too if you guys can. You grew, grew up eating this too, right? Oh, I did. Yeah. yeah. My mom was a chef when we lived in the Philippines, so. Mm. 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 I love the soy salt. Mm. Mm. And actually, this, like, I don't put any salt in it. You as don't well. need it? No. Just you don't need it because mm. of the um, patis. Patis is actually um, fish sauce. Fish sauce, mm. yeah, it's great. So, I love it. Mm. And the soy nice sauce, flavor. of course, yeah. you know. All right. It's a lovely flavor. A taste of the Philippines, located inside the French market uh, on yeah, North French. Clinton. The book comes out at the end of October. Yeah, October 24th. It's actually my mother's birthday. Oh, yeah. there you go. Check out a taste of the Philippines.com too for more information and some more great recipes.